is going on guys it is your boy sister here bring you guys another logo design tutorial here today in illustrator logo typeface uh however you want to say it it's basically like letter designs uh basically like a group or a single letter design like i have like over here like an n or this group of letter with c and o uh and then of course the c and e and basically let me show you guys today how to basically create your own logo faces uh logo typeface using either circles which is like i have the example here and rectangles, which I have the example here, and then pen tool over here, and you get these cool little accents I can show you guys how to do as well, accents. Um, basically, I already have like a photo ready, ready to go, put it in here later on, but I wanna show you guys this, and this is gonna be my last video under 50K subscribers. There's a possibility that when this video is uploaded on Friday, uh, this is basically yesterday, I'm in, I'm in Thursday, right? And there's a possibility I can have that freaking awesome number today, or tomorrow, or whatever you're watching this, right? And it's, it's, it's great, like a really humble feeling. I am very, very thankful for having 50K subscribers. That's a big, big milestone, really big number. And I want to say thank you guys so much. So for this, I want to give you guys what you've been kind of like crying about. Literally in the comment section is like, yo, where's your logo, to, uh, you know, tutorials? And I see a whole bunch of comments and like my old logo tutorials were just like, yo, how do you fix this, this, this? I'm going to address all that stuff in this video here today. So just make sure you guys know that. And also there's something I can say. I can't really teach you guys how to sketch a logo design. So when I put my like my design that I just drew really quickly to like I guess put in and that you guys use the pen tool and stuff. There's no way I can show you guys how to sketch a logo design. Or I could show you guys like the techniques I use, but there's no way I can like physically get inside your head and like show you guys, yo, this is how you be creative and this is how you make an S or something like that with like a logo design. There's there's like things I just can't do, right? It's like taking a photographer, like an example, right? Like if you watch a video how to take a picture in sunlight and you got to check your exposure, your shutter speed, etc., 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 right? But you go ahead and go do it yourself. When you go do it yourself, you're not in the same position or you're not doing the same exact, you're not taking the same exact uh, picture. You're not doing the same exact design, but you use the techniques that he showed you in the video to make your own that you want to go take outside in your trees and he's in like freaking bumblefuck no or snow i don't know but i'm just saying right you guys understand what i'm trying to say there so uh i'm going to show you the techniques so we're going to go with that right and of course 200 likes on the video equals a secret down below which i have no clue going to do because i'm an illustrator and we're doing logos so i have no clue but i'm gonna figure something out i don't know <laughs> just like give me an idea but i don't know this is very exciting for me i'm just very 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 happy it's a very good good atmosphere right now okay sweet so um, the first thing I want to show you guys how to do, of course, is how to use these circles and how to use the Shape Builder tool, which is also located right here, right? Shape Builder tool is also Shift M on your keyboard to basically use it in a quick succession. And just in case you want to know as well, M on your keyboard is a way you, uh, the quick selection for the rectangle on your keyboard here, uh, rectangle tool, excuse me. And that's how you press, uh, when you press M on your keyboard, you get this tool. And if you press L on your keyboard, it gives you the circle tool. And while holding Shift, you can see here, I'm not holding Shift, but I hold Shift now. It will now make a perfect circle, so it's like same exact, exact uh, same exact thing in Photoshop, um, using like the rectangle tool and stuff like that. Uh, if you don't know as well, you got to make sure you know this if you're like new to Illustrator. But this is your fill, uh, your fill path, I guess you would say, and this is your stroke path be uh, below it. So it's not your foreground color and your background color. It is now your fill and your stroke because there's nothing, there's no like rasterizing in this program. Well, there is like right here, but like there's no reason to. It's it, you want to make sure it's paths. You know, it's not like images or pixels. Uh, their path so they're nice and clean cut that's why you can zoom in right and you can like see perfect clean cuts no pixels stuff like that are right, you guys probably already know that You're probably waiting like yo come on let's go all right so to start this off I'm gonna be using the circle and I'm gonna be using the stroke path uh, stroke fill as well to go ahead and create a width and a shape to go ahead and make something like this the CO concept here so to do this all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use uh, the points over here right here I uh, also I already I already turned on my stroke right and I'm going to put my align stroke to the inner, which is your middle one right here, just like so. I'm going to put this to like 250 right away just to see what it is, what the width is. Um, We're going to shrink the circle a little bit more. And I'll say that that is pretty good. Um, We'll go with this. So basically, using the Shape Builder tool really quickly, right? The Shape Builder tool, like I said, is Shift M on your keyboard. And this is basically a tool to cut shapes out of other shapes or paths out of other shapes that you make with your pen tool. You can do whatever. It's basically how to way to cut out some shapes in other shapes or other paths, right? So if I had a rectangle here, which I'm going to go ahead and fill with a uh, fill really quickly, right? I hold, uh, I can press press A on my keyboard for the direct selection tool. If I just want to select them both, or if I just want to highlight them both, just like this by clicking and dragging. Or if I'm gonna press V on my keyboard, you can do the same exact thing. Just any direction, to, uh, any selection tool, you can click on both of them by holding Shift, and you can go ahead and see when I press Shift M that this brings up a uh, basically a nice little mouse here where it has a plus button next to it. 
or a minus when you hold alt, which is basically like saying if you hold alt, of course, you're going to be getting rid of something. And if you hold plus, you're going to be putting something on or filling something in. And I'll show you guys that in a second as well. But um, basically how it works is it cuts off your path. So you have one path over here. Uh, basically, because of course, when you I guess when you intercept the circle in this uh, the square here, it intercepts here. It would intercept here as well. I do not have this circle here on a uh, uh, how do you call it? Expand appearance, right? Uh, yeah, expand appearance, which is going to allow this uh, one shape that I have here. So I'm just going to show you really quickly, right? Hold Alt. I want to get rid of this. If I cut this out, I would want to. I would want to do this, right? But I would want to do this so it's not still a circle. I want this stroke to be my own path or its own shape. So to do that, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and delete that really quickly. Select our circle. Go to Object, Expand Appearance. And then this is going to do now, if I go back to this little rectangle tool, and we're going to do this Shift thing again, Shift M again. And if I delete this here now, we can see that this is no longer just one path here. And when I delete this here, it would, like I guess, formulate around this rectangle here. You don't want that, right? But if I click here again now, you can see that it actually cuts out of a shape because this is no longer a circle. It's more of a shape stroke. It's still a circle. You know what I mean? It's still a circle, but it's not a uh, circle, circle shape. It's more of a... Uh, stroke shape now you get what i'm saying there so make sure you guys understand that because it's going to bother you if you're going to be doing this technique so basically now i can use alt i can click on this shape and i can just drag it over and i'm going to use uh the same exact shape over here like i did uh c and o right for the example so basically i can see that this is uh this is going to be my c right here right c right here and then i'm gonna i'm gonna nice make a nice flow and it's gonna go make to an o so to do this, you want to cut things out, right? Because you have it over here that this does not look like just two circles. Or it is two circles. It looks like two circles, but it doesn't look, you know, difficult to see right away that this is a C and that this is an O because it's cut off here and it's cut off perfectly here as well. The same exact, uh, I guess, spacing in between. And to do that, it's very, very simple. So I want to select this circle really quickly. And I'm going to just drop down this group. I'm going to make a duplicate of this layer. You can either click on the layer and drag it to the new uh, layer uh, folder thing majigger here create new layer uh, tab or you can just hold alt on your keyboard and just drag one up uh, That's a way of doing it. I'm just gonna hide this and get rid of this and on this duplicated circle here I'm gonna turn off my uh, fill here I'm gonna turn on my stroke and I'm gonna change my stroke align to outside which is the last one here So at this I'm gonna take my width and put it to like 55 or so right away uh, Maybe a little bit more 65 maybe like 80 um 80 seems good so what this is going to be doing for me is this from this uh angle right here to or this uh side of the uh circle right here to this side it's going to be cut out from this uh circle right here so basically if i click on these you can see that this from here is going to be cut out and this is what's going to give us our perfect spacing but to cut things out correctly we need to make sure we expand the appearance like we did before so we go to object make sure you have no fill on by the way it's going to be very difficult and if you're also not on the align stroke outside if you're on inner or center it's going to give you problems i promise you that um uh the only way it would actually work if you try to only do it on a center but you have to make sure you, it's on outside and then once it's on the outside you can go to object expand appearance and so it does this now. You can see that it no longer has like that annoying, I guess, only circle that you can cut out from here. It has it that you can sort of uh, cut it out from here now. So I can just hold Alt and press Shift M, go to Shape Builder tool, right? And then delete, just like so. And I kind of want to delete it. Do I want to delete it here? Um, no, we want to delete it there right now. So I'm going to go back to here really quickly. So now you can see that it's cut out here. We have a C going here. Also, I want to make sure I actually shape builder tool this. I'm going to get rid of this here. And there we go. We got our C and our O. Did I do anything different over here? Also made the C do that, right? I can do that there as well. So basically do the same thing as before. Click on the path here. Make a duplicate of it. Get rid of it. And I believe I said 80 right on my stroke. So I'm going to turn off my fill. Put a stroke on. Go to outside, put it on 80 points, and there we go. Go click on this, go to object, expand appearance, and this way I can click here, click here, hold shift M for the shape builder tool, hold alt, click on here. It's going to get rid of this spacing right here. We can now hide this again, put this back on, and there we go. We have our C and our O. Now, you can literally go on forever with this. You can, like, take this. I'm just going to duplicate it for now. I'd probably do it over, but, like, you can do something like this put like you know C O O and then making a G would probably be like just using the same exact O 
and then like figuring out a way to make just cut this out here and so like I'm going off right now for some reason um maybe if I like mm, I have like a shape here I don't know why I'm doing this I'm just showing you guys what else you can do really quickly so like that right and then you can have like L O O or C O O G like let's say if your name was like cog or something like that I don't know but you can see you can get this kind of style and just keep on going for it and it looks freaking cool right so that's just that I like the way I did this I like the quick example I did there right there we go you got cog now and now this is just cut terribly but I'm just gonna use this again and then delete it there just like so and I can just select this one and then delete it Perfect. So you can see it's a very cool little neat trick of using circles. I'm going to show you how to use the rectangle one here. Same exact concept. I'm just going to show you guys how to do it just because. Just because, right? Easier to know. Easier to just see it. So for this, I'm going to actually make this C really quickly first. So to do that, I'm actually going to have to use the circle really quick. Sorry. But we're going to make a circle here. Get rid of the fill. Put the stroke back on. And we're going to take this. We're going to do the same exact 250 points. And we're going to make sure this is on inner. And for this now, I'm going to go ahead and... And we're gonna go to do, 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 uh, object expand and we're gonna make a square now or rectangle and I'm gonna start it here right at the point where it's like that circle here and then we're gonna go ahead and hold alt to fix this and we're gonna put it about here perfect so now I want to make sure to just to test to see if I have it right that this is connected or this is like connected or over uh, you can see that it's perfectly over path there but I move this or overlaid on it there we go if I click here now if this wasn't overlaid my shape builder tool would basically tell me that I'm deleting uh, the entire square uh, the entire rectangle here it would tell me I'm deleting the entire rectangle because it's not connected here just for an example um, let's just say like I did this or how'd it work what was like a way that I can teach you guys let's say if this wasn't connected let's just say that I wanted to like cut off like right here but it wasn't connected for an example you know, like you zoom out and you're just like why is this like the entire thing you just got to make sure that there's paths that are overlapping on each other and that way it connects perfectly I don't know that was a bad example but you guys will actually run into it once in a while and you'd be like why can I cut this? Like, right here um, I can cut the entire thing I want to only cut this part like this right here it's because it's not connecting here there we go there's an example um, there we go. So I'll just use my arrow keys to fix it. Shape below tool. And just like so. Actually, before I do that, I'm actually duplicate this rectangle here and put it on the outside for now. And I'm going to just use that duplicated rectangle and just put one over here. Just like so. Shift on, uh, click on all of these here. Shift M. And it's not fixed over here. So we're going to go ahead and just do that. Just like so. Make sure they're connecting. And there we go. We can do this and here and delete it. Uh, this is somewhere isn't connecting. Is it this one? It, yes, it is. Move that over. And we're going to fix this over here. Shift M. Make sure we select it. Shift M. There we go. Oh, see, see what I mean? It's gonna, you're going to run into problems. I promise you that. I have to make sure before I delete this one that this is cut out right. So Control Z, just go back, and then we'll just put that out just a little bit, and just to check it really quickly. Nope, it's not fixed yet. More, is it fixed yet? Maybe this side has to be filled as well, or fixed as well. Nope, that that side is fine. It's just this side. It's being a pain. There we go. Now it's fixed. All right, sweet. So now I can select it all. And we delete it here, here, and here. And to make a cool little cut slant to cut like this right here, I'm just gonna use rectangle here. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm gonna use rectangle here. And I'm gonna cut it like on an angle like so. Uh, maybe a cooler angle, maybe like a little more slanted. Something like that maybe, right? Click on both of them here. And then Shift M and then delete it there, here, here. Also here. And there we go. Now we have a cool little slanted uh, U. But if we turn this, of course, we get the C that we have over there. And this, re this rectangle here I'm going to use. going to duplicate it by holding Alt and dragging it. And then we're going to make sure we do something like this. And we'll fix this little spacing. See how it's like very odd and annoying? It's probably like completely tilting you right now. But we'll fix it in a second. I'm going to use another one. I'm, using a I'm going to use Control-Shift 
and then holding shift will actually make it so that it only intervals of uh, 25 I believe you can see it only rotates or maybe 30 right 30 60 uh, you can see that's what it's doing here so I'm gonna make sure it's on a perfect little horizontal line here I don't need to make sure this is like completely perfect I can always cut these things out here but I have to make sure that this is on this point right here right just like so and that way when I use a shape builder tool it will delete here here and we have a nice cut there and then same thing for the bottom part over here I'm just gonna use this cut here and we'll make sure it's on this point and then we'll drag it hold shift to make it perfect and we'll just move with the arrow keys there we go um, it's just a little bit off you can see that but I'm not gonna really worry about it right now unless it's gonna bother me here no it's not sweet boom and then we'll make another cut and then put it there and then do something like this and then we'll do the same exact slanted really quickly we'll just try to find the same exact angle really quickly I don't know why I'm going too hard on this but you can see the process right go like this shape build the tool and then we can have a nice little slanted cut on each one there we go now we got an S and an E and then like I said before I want to fix this as a perfect spacing and so it's really nice so I'm gonna move these really close to this I'm gonna hold the shift and I'm gonna make sure I select these two points move it pretty close to the E for now right and just like so again move it pretty close to the E now I'm gonna go ahead click on this shape here find it in this group which is gonna be the only one that has this uh, target selected hold alt make a duplicate of one and then slightly just lock that for now and then we're gonna go turn off the fill put on the stroke put it on outside put it on 50 60 for now why not um oh, a little bit more actually like a hundred there we go and then we're gonna click on this path go to object expand and this is the same exact thing as we did before right and we basically click here I ran into a little problem here. I probably like wasn't paying attention, but the same exact thing applies though. I don't know why it's working on the bottom and then just not on the top. I must have made an, ex uh, an extra path somewhere, but it doesn't really matter. You guys get the point, right? When I delete it there and I just get rid of this really quickly. Let's just say we went in like that. Uh, well, we didn't, but we just have only a spacing down here and not here. It's probably because this extra thing right here. So if I actually want to, if you do find yourself in this situation, I'm gonna run into these problems because you guys probably run into these, uh, through these problems uh, if you actually don't have the Windows uh, Pathfinder on, and if you have something like this, where you have two paths, you just probably don't know where you cut it from, or just something happened, basically, if I just click on this, it actually uh, combines the two paths together, and that way, if I were to go back really quickly to this part, I was like, why can't I cut this out? I can connect this path along with this path here, right now, and then if I try to cut it out, it should cut out and fix the problem like it did, just like that. Sweet. So that's our little problem fixed. But if you guys do run into that problem, that's how you fix it. This is just not cut out here, and but we can fix this just by moving that angle there. Um, there we go. So, so yeah, that's basically what that was. It's just like a very annoying thing that sometimes you probably get lost. But I'm glad it happened, and I'm glad I fixed it in the video. So if you guys ever had a problem like that, you know why it happened. So pretty much now, I'm just at the point where I just want to show you guys how to do this right here. I'm gonna go back to the circle one for now. And I'm going to show you how to use this little cool little technique of making it like showcase worthy. And we're going to go ahead and just unblock this. Uh, we'll actually make a duplicate of it. And we'll just hide this layer just in case we ever mess up. Call this back up or something like that. And then for, pretty much what you're going to do here is you're going to basically select everything. So you're going to select this target. Make sure everything is combined. So with the uh, path builder tool, make sure you click this one right here, which is basically unite. Connects all things together. And that way this is all one shape now. Pretty good to go now. So if I just go ahead and make this white, I'm going to make my fill color white solid white and I'm gonna make my stroke path a color uh, pink is cool right I'm gonna put this on the one put these stroke outside and we're gonna go ahead and make this like 55 right away um, that looks okay right it does look okay maybe a little bit more that looks pretty good there we go uh, this there's a problem here and it's probably just because I did not connect these paths like before and delete it but it's whatever it looks fine but anyway you can just also make a duplicate of it right put on the bottom of it and we're going to select this path and we're going to actually get rid of the fill and we're going to do this expand thing again so we're going to expand appearance 
and that way when I put a stroke on, it's also gonna have this little thing problem here. You're gonna have to just make sure you go to object, expand again, and make sure you turn this on. These are fill and your stroke is on, you press okay. And that way your fill, when I go ahead and put my fill on, now you can do the fill. So that's just a little quick tip. And then we're gonna put this to black. And we're gonna put this to like 70. Let's see how that looks. Looks pretty good if I have to though, I have to fill these little spaces in. Just use a nice little pen tool. Make sure it's on fill. But you can just pen tool that in like so. And there we go, we have that cool little design looking over here. And this looks very odd because I did not fix this right here, but it's whatever. I can always fix it when I want to. Um, I just have to fix it right now because we're like real, we're getting really into it. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and throw in. We'll just delete this for now. We're gonna throw in this little image over here. I'm gonna show you the pen tool really quickly. And make sure this is a new layer. Drag this in. Here we go. I'm just gonna use the X for this example, just like so. I just did this really, really quickly. Um, see, it's like example, so I try to go for it. I don't know, I try to like, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> so we're gonna make a new layer. And for the pen tool, it shows as follows. I, I believe it's easier to turn, turn your fill off for now when you're doing this, so there's nothing in your way besides just the path. Um, basically like this right here, right? So there's nothing in your way besides this gray path right here. Um, there we go, just leave that really now. Because if you were to have this on and you like, we're trying to follow this really quickly, it would kind of get in your way, but you can kind of see how it's working out um, by doing this. But it, it will get in your way if you're like still new into Illustrator and stuff like that. So if you turn it off, you'll be able to see your path and you're good to go. So basically, it's the same thing as followed. You click, you drag, you click and drag. You get these two extended points. You can move these by holding control, uh, just like so. Um, being slow with the pen tool actually really works in Illustrator. So I think in Photoshop, but like to be perfect, just like take your time with it, right? We'll just do like over here. I'm gonna use my I'm holding control on the extended point to move this over here to follow this. And then basically to get rid of the curve. So if I clicked here, it would curve here. I don't want to curve here, so I'm going to do is I'm going to hold Alt. I'm going to click on that point, and it gets rid of the curve. And you can see it's just a one anchor point now. It's like restarting. And if I click over here, it's no longer a curve. And if I hold Shift, you can make straight lines. And just like so. And how will we do this? We'll just see how it works when I just do this really quick. No. So I'm going to have to click over here first. Click on this path, this anchor point. Click and drag. And then click a drag, or just click once here. I'll move this so I can do something like that. And then click and drag. Then just click. And then line, holding shift to make a straight line. And then connect it. And then we'll just put the fill on. And there we go, right? I don't know, it's not the greatest like pen tool or the greatest design ever. But that's how you basically use the pen tool, right? So you get something like this. And you can fix it if you want. You click on the points again. You can move these here without holding control. Um, just like so and then you got something like this and you really like it and then if you want to put that cool little uh like showcase like little stroke stuff you do the same thing right here this applies the same exact way i just don't like how this looks but i'm not going to fix it too much i'm not going to worry too much this is an example right but we have this little x here uh, or an xp right x and then a p here um so yeah what we're going to do paint this white do the same exact thing before put this on white and we'll go ahead and put the stroke on and we're gonna put it on the outside we'll put it on fifth or 60 and we're gonna change the color to like green this time why not um looks that's a very ugly green we'll change it to like orange there you go right and if you run into this problem here which i'm glad i did but you can see that the longer the stroke you're gonna get interceptions like this which is fine it looks fine as long as the white you have this on white it looks good because you can still see the logo's original design and then the stroke is just an added effect kind of and you can see here what this means is why it gets like straight and not the same exact thing it's because this point is a little bit too pointy so you got to find yourself uh you got to give yourself like you know leeway and like you know you can see that the, the more curvy it gets the better it looks but just by like just by showing you guys what i had before it's just because it's too pointy, so you gotta find your cut like your your medium, like I said. So that's gonna work, I guess, for that for now, right? So make a duplicate of this one. Click here, turn off my fill. Go to object, uh, expand. Turn on my fill again. Go to object, expand, fill, just like so. And now we now we can turn this off. Put this on. Put this on outline, and then we'll do like 90 this time, and then we'll put it on like black right 
There we go. So you can see it's actually coming out here, which is actually really odd. That's just because it goes like that way. You just have to find, like, you of course have to, like, mess around. Just, like, make sure you guys don't get too much, you know, mistakes going on here. But if you take your time and you can get some really freaking sick designs. And this is just a little way of, like, making it cool and showcaseable. And it's just a concept, right? It's like more of a letter concept. Um, it's more of just like, you know, like a typeface, like I said, a group of letters or one letter. By the way, I did not Google that definition. I Googled it an hour ago, just so you know, all right? Just making sure we clarify that. I was like, what is like the correct term? I want to explain it right, right? So I looked it up. There you go. I'm giving you facts, okay? But yeah, so it looks pretty good. And just overall, the design portion of it, I would hope I would have like a better example of just like a quick pen tool. But I, I gave a pretty good example over here with these C's and O's and the C and the E and then like this end cost I did for a client. And it's pretty freaking sick. I am very, very happy with this tutorial, how it came out, how it explained things. I hope you guys were too and you guys are having a lot of fun with your circles and freaking rectangles. And, you know, overall, it's a pretty fun concept. And just make sure the only thing like that I feel like it's difficult here is just remembering Shape Builder Tool and how it cuts things out and the stroke and using the expand, the option expand to make sure things are like perfectly, you know, spaced correctly. Um, other than that, I really, really hope you guys enjoy your Friday, right? I'm going to have a great day. I'm going to try my hardest to be as productive as possible. I'm going to have a lot of fun. And I'm going to see you guys on my 50K video, which I have no clue I'm going to do yet. But it's going to be something. So thank you guys so much. Don't forget to leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, at SysWHQ. Do not forget to check out my Selfie, selfie.com, slash SysWHQ for any premiums and packs. As low as 5 bucks. And like I said, if you, don't have, if you haven't yet to subscribe to me, I think it's about dang time if you watch this entire video. All right? So thank you guys so much. Talk to you guys later. This is out. And peace. I said Sesame Chew. Sesame HQ is out. Peace. <laughs>